In this video, we're going to be discussing the refinement of activity diagrams over time in SysML. So we have an example, a NASCAR example that we will be going through. That will get started. So this is what we're going to be walking through. We have three different levels of refinement. So this would be the first pass up here on the top. This would be the second pass here in the middle. And then this would be the third pass here on the bottom. So we jump into the first pass and you're given the instruction to simplify and just say what what's going on with NASCAR, like what are the cars doing? And so then your simplified thing is just left turn. So you can you can actually run this in simulation really quick and it technically works and is, is not necessarily incorrect. So that you know, but it's not like the best logic. So you'd say no, 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 um, like hundred times over probably more than that, until you have completed the race and you say yes, and then it completes. So that's what we have there. And then you'll come back and say, okay, we need some more detail. So there's actually a difference between just any left turn and turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, like there's different turns. Um, so then we model that and that's what you're seeing here. So essentially uh, turn one through four would create a lap itself. So We'll go ahead and run that. So there's your merge node and it comes around, turn three, turn four. And then it asks you, is the race complete? No. And then I'll do it again for an infinite amount of times until your race is complete. And then your activity is done. So then the next thing that they would say is, okay, well, it's more complicated than just going around a lap. We also need to be able to pit. So what we did here is we have this get fuel that, or pit action. So it would go here and um, I'll just show you. So we're starting it. Are we low on fuel? No, we just started the race. Is the race complete? No. And then it does the lap. And so this is nested. This lap is nested within this activity. Are we low on fuel? No, we're still not. Is the race complete? No. So then it goes and does a second lap. It comes back and we have the same logic. So let's say that we're low on fuel this time. It goes to pit and then comes back up. Are we low on fuel? Nope, we just refueled. Is the race complete? Nope. So we'll do another lap. We'll do one more lap and then we'll say that the race is complete. So this, this logic allows for us to do laps as a whole, to get fuel, um, to show each of the turns individually, it shows nesting. Um, so you can further refine this as you please. Um, but uh, this, this does show how you can start with something really simple and then work towards something that, that gives you a little bit more fidelity or more refinement. So I hope that that example helps clear things up.